What's up guys, my name is Cal, and today I'm going to be showing you how to export out of Final Cut Pro X or Final Cut Pro X, they mean the same thing. Um, and essentially I'm going to be showing you your export options and how to choose the best picture quality for your movie. Um, so to start off here, uh, make sure you're in your project, you can see this is a project called Southeast Asia. Um, and then go to the right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a, a light gray bar. Go ahead and click on the arrow coming out of the rectangle on the far right, uh, which is the Share Project button. Um, and it'll bring up a bunch of different options for sharing your project. Go ahead and immediately ignore the Facebook, YouTube, and Vimeo options. Even if you're exporting um, to upload to one of those sites, don't click those because sometimes it compresses it in weird ways you don't want. And you have to sign in a bunch of other stuff. It's really complicated and uh, overall not worth it. The one you're going to want to take a look at is Master File um, or DVD if you want to export to a DVD. Um, but for Master File, this is going to be like a QuickTime movie. Um, uploading to YouTube is a very popular way. Um, of exporting for this. So go ahead and click on that um, and then you can title it whatever you want. Uh, that just came up with whatever the title was for my last project. Um, but anyway, so go ahead and title it. This one is called Southeast Asia. Um, and you can see right away you can uh, change the description. Pretty simple. You can add some tags. Um, and this stuff is all pretty, pretty simple. You don't actually have to do any of this. You can leave that alone if you want. Um, what you're going to want to take a look at is the settings tab. That's the right one right there. Um, and you can see there's a bunch of different options format video and audio make sure you have that checked Otherwise, it'll only export one or the other um, which will not bode well if you're trying to upload a video um, and video codec so This is where essentially you choose the quality of your project now uh, Keep in mind that the higher the quality the larger the file so if I go up to source Which is going to be the highest quality picture you can see it's five gigabytes, which is a lot of gigabytes for a movie that is not that long. This one's only a couple minutes so far. Um, I'm not actually finished with it. And then if you go down to H.264, you can see it's only 813 megabytes. Now, uh, there's really no reason to be exporting as Apple ProRes 422 source just because the uh, the picture quality is better, but it's not relative to how much larger the file becomes, especially if you're only uploading it to YouTube, which will compress it anyway. Um, you won't actually change anything by exporting this. So I would say H.264 should be your default. If you really want to get a slightly higher picture quality, if you're not satisfied with H.264, you can go ahead and do Apple ProRes, uh, and then you can see it's a five gigabyte file as well. But it will up the quality a little bit if you're not happy with H.264, but I recommend that. So go ahead and click on that. You can see resolution 1920 by 1080. That's all fine, QuickTime Movie. Um, you can include chapter markers, but that is only really for a DVD, so you don't really need to select that. Everything else seems fine. Um, and then if you go back to info, make sure that all your settings are still there. This is the frame rate of your movie, um, the size, uh, stereo right and left, which means that uh, audio will be playing from both sides of the speaker, the time of the movie, um, and then you can go ahead and you can see this is what it will export to. You don't really have to worry about this. It can play on all of these devices. It just says that it's exporting um, for Mac. Then go ahead and click on Next. Um, you can see it already comes up with the title that you saved it as, Desktop. Click Save, and it will then begin to export your movie. Now, it doesn't come up with a box um, for how much time is left to export, which I think is kind of strange. I thought they should have done that. Maybe in a background task, if you go into Window, uh, background tasks, you can see that there is a sharing um, little option there. You can see how far your movie is done uh, exporting, but they don't really, it's kind of deep, like a lot of people don't know about that, and you, it's not obvious that you can find that, so I thought they should have added something. But anyway, that's how you export, um, and you can see that if I go ahead and subtract this, um, uh, it will already be there, Southeast Asian movie. Um, notice though that if you click on it, it will not actually open just because it hasn't been uh, zero kilobytes. It hasn't actually been exported yet. This is just the uh, the initial file, so you can't actually open that yet until Final Cut Pro says it's done. And once it is done, it'll pop up with a little box in the top right hand corner saying share successful. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video that is how to export from Final Cut Pro X or Final Cut Pro 10 um, and get the best picture quality settings. So other than that, see you guys later.